Man, I'm so excited for the unveiling of the new VR system. I heard that the graphics are so realistic that it is almost impossible to deviate from reality. I've been hearing that the visuals really do pop out at you. Just imagine owning a device like it. I would like to have one, although my folks are really skeptical about them. One time my younger sister Chloe had her friend over one day and played with a VR system. Yes. I did it Ayana. I finally beat the final boss. I gotta say the gameplay authenticity is top notch. It's almost like I've been smashing and bashing through things. Yeah, about that. Oh gosh! We should probably clean all this up before somebody notices. What the hell? Jeez Louise Chloe, it's like a twister hit this place. I'll clean it up I swear, just don't tell mom. <sighs> I ended up helping Chloe and her friend clean the mess up as best as possible. Though there were a few items that were actually broken. Inevitably my mom did find out about the incident, and strictly banned VR systems of any kind in our house. Okay, that was quite the story. So just to be clear, it's only VR systems in your house that's banned. Yay, but outside our house. It's totally fine as long as we don't break anything and that no charges would be coming out of our pockets. Hey, the line is finally moving up. Oh, hi Rico and Janet. Hi Tyler, Richard and Carly. How's it going? It's going fine. I see you two are excited for this unveiling too. We sure are. And best of all, the game that they will be displaying is... Galactic Combat 3. I really enjoy this game series so much, and this time it's gonna be done in virtual reality. I recall playing Galactic Combat on my PC. It's a really cool game, and I bet it will be even more fun when we get to play it. On the contrary Richard. Oh, hey there Marvin and... Uh, what's your name again? I'm Marietta. Remember me? I have you in physics. How do you not get it by now? Okay geez. Chill. I haven't really gotten to know you that much since we don't normally speak to each other like that. I've been in Trita's troops for nearly five months now. We must have encountered at least. <laughs> so then I was like, seriously? I've been telling you a million times now. And then he was like, uh, I forgot. Bro, I literally gave you this information like two seconds ago. Excuse me. Oh, my bad. So where was I? You know what? Never mind. Forget it. The point is that we will be taking those spots, so you can forget it. But there are like four spots. Well I guess at least two of you won't be on the VR system. Well Rico and Janet, you might want to find a new place to have your date because this table is reserved. Ark. Look, they are going to randomly choose four people to be the first to try out the game, so there's also a chance that none of us will get to play. We'll see about that. Oh, for Pete's sake. Attention everyone. We are most grateful for you all coming out to be the first to play our new VR system. And today is your lucky day. We will select four volunteers to be the ones to try out our game. You young lady in the green and young man with the red cap. Yes. 
and you with the red shirt and gold stripes, and the other young fella with shirt and spiky brown hair. Ah uh, dang. I really wanted to try out the new game system. It's okay Rico, we can play this game another time. When it's widely available. It's gonna be fine man. Alright everyone, these four young people are here to try out the new VR system. What are your names? I'm Tyler. I'm Richard. I'm Marietta. I'm Marvin. Are you all ready for the epic experience? For sure. This is such a dream come true. Hell yes. I'm more than ready. All right, on my signal, you all will put on the VR. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, this is cool. We get our own mission suits. Ooh, I wonder if we can customize it. Oh man, it looks like we have to be at level 5 before we can have customizing ability. Relax man, we're only in the tutorial of the game. At least I think we are. Generally speaking, tutorials would have some random text that would appear. I think we might be in an intro cutscene. What's going on? Oh dear. This is not looking good at all. Guys, I don't want to freak anybody out, but we are descending very fast. It looks like we are going to crash down on a planet. What? There's got to be a way to slow this thing down right? Well without any tutorials, it's gonna be difficult for me to figure out which button activates what. I really wish the cutscene would take a brief pause. This would be a perfect time for some game playing. I told you we should have gone for the crashing down level idea. Well yeah, but that would ruin the tension and dramatic effect of the storyline. Oh crap oh crap oh crap. Well damn. Wait look. Whoa. Did not expect us to survive a crash landing spaceship. Now that is some good gaming logic. Where are we? Welcome to Zectron. Where you will face a series of trials in order to defeat the boss. Oh, so this place is called Zectron? I was kinda thinking of Siptron or Zandar. Ooh. Or how about Cryptopia? Sounds like a cheap knockoff to Krypton. I think that's enough planet naming for right now. Geez, I didn't realize that we were team captains. Whatever you say, Captain, no fun. I bet if he was a sci fi planet, they would name him Planet Nerdium or Lametron. Very funny, Marvine and Marietta. Oh come on. Cheer up sourpuss. Let's just go to our first objective. Oh nuts. The bridge is unfinished. You. What the hell is the river made of? Yeah, that's acid. Say, are our suits capable of going through that toxins? Um? No, it says you would need a special upgrade to go through the toxins. But where would we find an upgrade? Found it! Whoa, how'd you find it? It was hidden behind that rock. Though next time, these things should be kept somewhere more hidden. Anyone could have taken it. So how do we activate it? Ugh. It's not working. How do you get this stupid thing to spawn? Try flipping the token. 
Is this some kind of joke? I think it worked. Go on. Let's see if this upgrade works. Fine. But you're paying for my dry cleaning. All right. It works just fine. So, how do we get across? Huh, how convenient. Congratulations, you completed the first task of your mission. Now prepare for your next task. I wonder what our next task will be. What the hell are those things? They appear to be some form of alien beings. I think they are native to this planet. Well they don't seem friendly at all. A shit. How do we defeat them? Wait, I think we might be equipped with weapons of our own. Oh hell yes. Take this you stupid aliens. That was a whole lot easier than I initially anticipated. Is that all you got, game? Ah. Uh, what the heck are those things? You really had to keep running your fucking mouth, Tyler? How do we defeat these creatures? Aha. Uh -huh. You need a special upgrade to defeat these mega aliens. Another upgrade. We kinda don't have enough room to look for one. Wait. Something's happening to my suit. Now this is badass. No fair. How come he gets an automatic upgrade while I had to find a stupid coin that flips to activate it? Stand back y'all. This is gonna be one extreme annihilation. That was awesome. Congratulations on completing the second task. Now for your next assignment, you need to explore the mysterious forest to find your way to the boss's location. Whoa. Is somebody scared? No. Not so bad as are you? Would you please be quiet? Gosh. Wait up, Richard. I bet you a million dollars that this boy is gonna get us lost. You don't even have to bet on it. He's probably gonna blunder. But almost reminds of that one time I put him and his friends on a wild goose chase to find Easter eggs back in 2021. Oh boy. You must have really tricked them good that time, didn't you? I sure did. Until you get your ass fired out of a cannon after pissing off the Easter Bunny just like you are pissing me off. Gosh fucking damn it. Come on guys, just knock it off already. Just can it Tyler. Besides, it's not our fault that Richard can't handle a little satire humor. The truth must really do funking hurts. This whole foolishness is tearing this team apart. We didn't want to team up with the likes of you too. We initially came here to experience the game for ourselves. We only stuck around because we weren't going to pass up this opportunity. Well neither were Richard and I. Well be that way. Me and Marietta will finish the quest without you two clowns slowing us down. So. Which way do we go? I think we go this way. That's funny. I thought we have to go that way. Does this damn game have a map? Are you kids lost? Absolutely not. 
We need directions to the boss's lair. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? Just follow me. Should we trust her? We don't have much of a choice. We're here. Wow. And that only took less than five minutes. Thank you, madam. Oh no, dear. Thank you. Why is she having that creepy look? Yo, lady. You're freaking us the hell out. Ha 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 ha. They are all your son. Son? Thanks, mom. I'm sure I am going to have so much fun with my new pets. Oh. My. Gosh. Hey man, you good? Humph. Look, Marietta and Marvin were only goofy enough back there. I'm sure they weren't really being serious. They might be right. I mean, I was terrified of a stupid urban legend Tyrone made up during our trip to Camp Coon. I was spirally about Drita's wrath during her 16th birthday crime spree. Although she's been a bit tamed recently. I was even a complete wuss during the blackout that happened during that stormy night. We all get nervous sometimes. Besides, those events happened in the past. You don't get it Tyler. We have been rivals with the Trita troops for merely two and a half years, and to this day it still stands during our junior year of high school. Not too long ago, Trita recruits Marietta, and three other people. While granted, myself, Louise, Carly, Jeffrey, Drake and a few others tag along with you after you became Trita's number one rival. A couple of our friends are in the senior year. After this year, it will be us five, along with Tisha remaining in our school. It's not really the thought of being outnumbered that bothers me, but it gives me the question of what's next after that. Well, there's no telling what will happen in the future, but I'm sure that everything is going to be fine. <sighs> Tyler. I have a confession to make. You know how Marietta and Marvin were poking fun at me at my sense of direction? Yes, what about it? I never actually completed this game. The only thing that got in the way was that I kept getting lost in the forest. It took me days, weeks and even a couple months to master it. It got so difficult to the point I completely just rage quit the game, and when Marietta and Marvin were making those jokes back there, they were literally slamming the truth back at my face. All hope isn't lost. I mean, you were amazing back there when you annihilated those alien monsters. That took a lot of courage. That's true. I didn't even hesitate to obliterate those suckers. Even if you didn't complete the game the first go-round, you still did really well. And besides, it is a team effort after all. You know what? You are right. So what if I don't know the way around this area? We can always learn from each other. Exactly! Let's go beat this game the right way. So, where is Marietta and Martine? Oh right, they did mention finishing the game without us. Uh, Tyler? This may be some sci-fi planet, but did the local weather mention anything about a chance for Major Doomsday? Wait a minute. The beam of light could only mean that the boss has been activated. Marietta and Marvin could be in trouble. We gotta go save them and defeat the boss. But we don't know how to get there. Huh, an upgrade token spawns in. I wonder what it could be. Oh hell yes. A special map tracking feature. So where's the boss's castle? It's over there. Let's go. You want the toy? You want the toy? Oh, I'm sure you want the toy. What I want is for you to get that stupid toy out of my face before I punch you in your damn gut. Oh, aren't you so precious? Touch me and I swear to gosh I will funking beat the crap out of you. I'm not joking around. Sheesh. You are a feisty little one. 
At least the little squirt is willing to be my furniture. Uh, no. I did not sign up for this shit. You cast some kind of funking spell on me that makes me obey your stupid commands. You. You are starting to be as bad as she is. Perhaps I should silence that voice. Stop right there, boss. What are you strangers doing here? Did my mom let you guys in because she thinks you're my friends? She should know damn well I do not associate myself with peasants. But if you are looking to be my property, you are more than welcome to be so. We want you to let those two go right now. I'm afraid I can't do that. These two signed an agreement stating that no matter what happens to them, they are forever my pets. We didn't sign no stupid documents. Well your goofy friend has. Marvin, what is he talking about? Um. There's the slightest, tiniest possibility that I may sign an agreement with both our names. Dude. Are you serious right now? What? It said it guaranteed us the right location of the boss. Well clearly you did not read the fine print. There was a fine print. Ah, uh, yeah. That's how most of the messed up scenarios happen. Well if I can't have these two, I will destroy them. What? what? Release them right now. Stand back. Or these two get the boot. I never thought it was all gonna end like this. I guess if we perish here, we may perish in the real world. Um? Are we gonna tell him that's not how it works? Nah. Besides, I think they are really in the moment. What do we do? This guy is way too powerful for us to deal with on our own. Say, I think I might know how we can beat this guy. How though? This guy is so attached to his valuables, he would do anything to stand by it. Even if it means making sacrifices. What other values could this guy possibly own? Okay, I do not know what's the game's obsession with puffing things in plain sight. Think of it this way, if your friends decide to give in, you two might be able to spend eternity with them as pet friends. We're not friends with those dorks. I barely even know them like that really. I don't give a crap about those two buffoons. You guys are affiliated with each other somehow. Oh my gosh! I think I'd rather be tossed in the void. Hey boss. Or should I say alien troll? Hey. That was really me. If you don't let our friends go, then we'll be dunking this in the void. Okay one. I told you to that they are your friends. Maybe frenemies I guess. And two. You wouldn't dare. Okay. This thing is really heavy. Here, I'll help you. No. I'll save my precious. Oh damn myself. We did it guys. <laughs> You guys were amazing out there. Well done. Must have seemed to be a whole lot of fun wasn't it? Just kidding with you. You guys were amazing. Thanks. But we also owe it to Marietta and Martine. Well Tyler and Richard, despite our bitter rivalry in school, we got to admit that was a whole lot of fun playing the game. Maybe you two aren't total noobs after all. Yeah. Not total noobs. Anyways, we best be heading off. Until next time Tyler and friends. Bryant is probably going to be so jealous when he finds out what happened today. I can't wait to tell Chavez about this. Bye.
Wait, did I really say that out loud back there? What out loud? A. Never mind.